the way that the Yiddish press works is, it, is that it, it, it changes in different places at different times. So the modern Yiddish press begins in the 1860s in Odessa. And uh, the first Yiddish newspaper there appears in 1862. It's called Komovasar. It has to appear as a supplement to a Hebrew newspaper because it's not technically legal to publish a Yiddish paper. Uh, but uh, the man who, who's running both papers, the Hebrew and the Yiddish, you know, his, his sort of goal is to educate the common people. And he can't do that in Hebrew because your average person, your average Jewish person doesn't know Hebrew. They just, you, you know, they know it to use it for prayer, but they're, you know, they're not able to converse in it. They're not able to read newspaper articles in it. You know, you know their vernacular is Yiddish. So he begins publishing this newspaper in Yiddish, and it's a huge hit. And there is news in it. So, for example, the very first issue, uh, the very first issue front page article is about the American Civil War. And uh, it's a really kind of interesting look at how Eastern European Jews in the 1860s, this is, you know, 20 years before the mass emigration begins, you know, how do they perceive America? What do they know about it? And what's interesting is they come right out and say, you know, there's this new country, America. We don't really know much about it. Uh, it's called a republic. They don't have a king, and it's run by businessmen. So there is news in this paper, but the bulk of it is really, uh, you know, articles on history and science and um, uh, literature. So one of the things that this newspaper does is it, it serializes Yiddish literature. And this is really the first, this is in a way the birth of modern Yiddish literature. Writers like Mendela Moicher Svorim, uh, whose real name is Sholom Yankov Abramovich, um, Yitzhak Yor Linetsky, uh, these writers begin publishing in this newspaper called Mavasar and it becomes a huge hit. They, you know, readers love these you know, novels and installments that they get every week. They're incredibly popular, and it becomes this really new literary forum uh, for Jewish readers. And it's, um, you know, the Yiddish press, in a way, births modern Yiddish literature. Without, without the press, it's, you know, Yiddish literature would have ended up as, uh, as, as something else. It's not clear what, but uh, not, not, not really the same thing. Sort of around the same time in the United States, the first Yiddish newspaper begins publication, uh, and that, that starts in 1870. Um, a newspaper called the Yiddish Deutsche Zeitung, uh, sort of Jewish German newspaper. It's not really German, it's sort of Germanized Yiddish. Uh, and that begins appearing, and it's a handwritten and lithographed paper, uh, which is unusual because they could have used Hebrew type, but I think the they say that Hebrew type wasn't available. Uh, the reality is, I think it was, but the uh, the, edit, the the publisher of this paper was too cheap to to you know use it. You know, you would have had to pay. So it was easier just to you know write it out and, and, and lithograph the thing. Uh, and he did this for you know about five or six years, uh, you know, before the paper went out of business. Uh, whereas at the same time, and this is one of the interesting aspects of the Yiddish press, and I, I think this happens with other presses as well. But it, it, it's especially prevalent in Yiddish is when someone puts out a newspaper, invariably there's someone that says, this newspaper is terrible. I can do a much better job. And so they begin publishing a newspaper. So a year after uh, uh, the Yiddish Deutsche Zeitung comes out, uh, in 1870, in 1871, someone starts publishing a new Yiddish paper. And it goes from there. You get in the, in the early 1870s, even before this mass wave of emigration, uh, or immigration to the United States, you have, um, you know, a bunch of, you know, little Yiddish newspapers that, that kind of rise and fall. Most of them fail, but they're attempts to get into this, uh, this kind of new media game that, uh, you know, would have influence on, on later, you know, later attempts to do it.